Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Deep Lab show. Today, we are going to show you a marble nail design, and this is our color powder kit. And this is our deep glue system, number one, base. Number two, top coat, brush. brush. Number two, activator. Number three, top coat. Number four, brush saver. And this is the six beautiful colors from our color kit, G641. And this is the nail design that we are going to show you on today's live show. OK, now let's get prepared. Today's nail design, we are going to use three colors from the color kit G641, number two, French white color, and uh, number 116, the shimmer nude color from G641. And uh, this is number, number two from the G641 color kit. It's a French white color. And this is a blue color, number 82, from the color key, the G649. It's a blue color. OK, the next color is the shimmer nude color, number 116, from the color key, the G641. Let's open the cap and check the color powder. It is a shimmer nude color. OK, now let's get prepared. First, we're going to use this bond to clean the nail surface one by one. It's the bond. If you don't have this kind of bond at your home, you can try to find it on our Amazon shop store. It is included on our, color, our accessory kit. The function of this bond is to clean the nail surface, move the oil from the nail surface so that the color powder can stick well on the nail surface. OK, finished. Next, we're going to use the apply a layer of base coat. First, we are going to do the second finger and the first finger nail design. Apply a layer of base coat. Brush it evenly and slightly. Do not touch the cuticle area. Next, we are going to use these three colors to do the nail design. Dip the brush into the white color powder first, and then dip it into the blue color powder. Sprinkle it regularly and slightly on the nail surface so that it will look more natural. Next is the shimmer nude color, number 116. Dip Dip the brush into the color powder and sprinkle it regularly. Use this kind of brush to brush the extra powder off. In order to make the color look more solid, we are going to sprinkle it again, so we need to apply another layer of base coat. Once again, we start from the white color Dip the brush into the powder and sprinkle it regularly. Next is the shimmer nude color. The last one is the blue color. Spring, sprinkle it regularly on the nail surface. Okay, now we're going to use this kind of brush to brush the excess powder off. Now 
Now we are going to apply another layer of base coat because next we are going to use this clear powder to protect the, the color. Now let's turn to the first finger. First we start to apply a layer of base coat. The nail design is almost as the finger that we did just now. We're going to use the three colors to do the ombre marble nail design. You can pay attention to the way how our nail tag sprinkle the color powder. Dip the brush into the color powder and uh, sprinkle it into onto the nail surface and use this uh, brush to brush the extra powder off. Apply another layer of base coat. Every time brush it evenly and slightly. Do not touch the cuticle area when you apply the base coat. Otherwise, it will be easy for you to get the lifting problem. Now, we are going to sprinkle the color powder once again. Dip the brush into the color powder and uh, sprinkle it readily on the nail surface. Use this kind of brush to brush the extra powder off. Next, we are going to apply another layer of base coat. Brush it evenly and slightly from the middle left to the right. And dip it into the clear powder to protect the color and the shimmer. Okay, now let's turn to this hand. We'll just repeat the same steps as we did just now. First, we'll start from the second finger. Apply a layer of base coat. And dip the brush into the color powder and uh, sprinkle it readily on the nail surface. You can pay special attention on the way how our nail tag to sprinkle the color powder. See where she sprinkled the powder on the nail surface. Now she's sprinkled the shimmer nude color. Okay, use this dust remover to brush the extra powder off. Now we are going to apply another layer of base coat. Every time, please remember to brush the base coat evenly and slightly. And remember, do not touch the cuticle area. Now we'll just uh, sprinkle the color powder again. Dip the brush into the white color powder and sprinkle it regionally so that it will look more natural. Okay, brush the extra powder off. Now we are going to apply another layer of base coat. and dip it into the clear powder in order to protect the color. Now let's turn to this finger.
First, we start from applying the first layer of base coat. And dip the brush into the Shimanuda color. This color is number 116 from the G6401 color kit. And now we are sprinkling the blue color. Next is the French white color. Okay, now we are going to use this brush to brush the extra powder off. In order to make the color look more beautiful and solid, we need to sprinkle it twice. We'll just repeat the same steps as we did just now. The last color is the white color powder. Sprinkle it readily on the nail surface. Now use this brush to brush the extra powder off. Next, we are gonna to use the clear powder to protect the color. So we need to apply a layer of base coat first. If you don't have a kind of clear powder at your home, we can also try to find it on our accessory kit. Now we are gonna to use this nail buffer to file the nail surface The function of this process is to make the nail surface look more smooth. And if you don't have this kind of nail buffer, you can try to buy it from our Amazon shop store. It is on our nail tools kit. First, We'll start to finish the second finger and the first finger nail design. So we'll start to do the filing process first on these two fingers. Because next, we're gonna to use the white painting gel and the black painting gel to draw some black and white lines on the nail surface. So first we need to file the nail surface to make it smooth. Our first dry deep powder can air dry within 30 seconds. So in this before you are doing the filing process, we don't need the activator to help it get dried. It can save you some time. Okay, finished. Now we are just uh, cleaning the hand. Okay, next we're gonna to sprinkle some alcohol on this bond. And clean the nail surface.
it can remove the extra powder or the nail surface. Okay, next we're gonna to apply a layer of clear gel before we paint the black lines with the painting gel on the nail surface. This one is called clear gel. Is if you don't have, if you don't have it at your home, you can try to find, you can try to buy it from somewhere else. Okay. Next, we are gonna to draw some black lines on the nail surface. First, we're going to use this pen to dip it into the black painting gel. And draw some lines on the nail surface. You can draw it readily. But if you really like the nail design on today's live show, you can just uh, pay attention to the way how our nail tech draw the lines. Since the clear gel is a kind of gel polish, so next uh, we'll need the UV lamp to help it get dried. Otherwise, it will be very difficult for it to, to get dried. It cannot air dry it by itself. So it's better for you to get a UV lamp at your home. You can use this kind of bond to remove some black painting gel or the nail surface. As you can see from today's live show, the light that our nail tag Draw is a kind of thick. Okay, now we are going to put these two fingers on the UV lamp. It will take one minute to get it dried. So in order to fill this nail design, we use the three colors from our color kit. One is French white color. The second color is the shimmer nude color, number 116, and also the blue color, number 82, from the color kit G649.
Okay, we almost finished. The black, the black painting gel is is almost get dried. Okay, now let's turn to this hand. We'll just uh, repeat the same steps as we did just now. First, we start to apply a layer of clear gel. Brush it evenly and slightly from the middle left to the right. As you can see, the clear gel just make the clear the nail surface looks pretty shiny. First, we start to draw a black line on the upper part of the nail surface. Next, we're gonna to draw a black line on the bottom part of the nail surface. In order to draw these black lines on the nail surface, you have to just keep your patience. Okay, next. We'll just use this bond to dip the black painting gel. Dip it readily and slightly so that it will look more natural. Okay, next we'll just uh, put the two fingers on the UV lamp. It will take you one minute to get it dried. of our fast dry dip powder is that it, no, it is no need of UV or LED lamp to get it dried. It can air dry by itself. But now since it is clear gel, so we need to use the UV lamp to get it dried. Otherwise, it will be difficult for it to get dried by itself. Next, we are gonna to draw some white lines on the nail surface. Dip the pen into the white painting gel. First, we pay one line on the upper part of the nail surface.
You can draw these lines on any part of the nail surface. You don't have to do the same steps. Okay, now let's turn to this finger. Dip the pen into the white painting gel. And then we start to draw some lines on the nail surface. As our nail tag, drawing the white lines of the nail surface, the nail is the nail looks like a white painting gel. It is like traditional Chinese water painting. It will look more classic and uh, nature. Okay, now let's turn to this finger. We'll just repeat the same steps as we did just now. Dip the pen into the white painting gel and draw some lines on the nail surface. Okay, we finished the, this nail design. Now let's turn to this finger. Draw these lines readily on the nail surface. First, it is on the upper part of the nail surface. Next, we'll draw some lines on the bottom part of the nail surface. Okay, finished. Now we'll put these two hands into the UV lamp to get it dried. Let's just wait it for one minute. Next. When we finish this, we are going to apply a layer of gel top coat. It will look the nail surface more, more shiny. And then we still you need to use the UV lamp to get it dried. OK, finished. This is the gel top coat. Next, we're gonna to apply one layer of gel top coat. Brush it evenly and slightly. As you can see, when we applied one layer of gel top coat, 
the nail looks more shiny than before. As you can see from today's live show, when you apply the painting gel and the gel top coat on the nail surface, it will take you much more time when you do your nail at your home because they need the UV lamp to get it dried. So in order to learn today's nail design, it's better to get a UV lamp at your home. Okay, now we're gonna to put the two hands on the UV lamp again. It will take one minute to get the gel top coat dried. The gel top coat is thicker than the top coat and it will make the nail surface looks double shiny. So we choose to use the gel top coat to finalize the nail art in today's live show. Okay, we only got 10 seconds to get it finished. Okay, finished. As you can see, the nail looks shiny and pretty gorgeous. Hope you really learned to how to make this nail design from our today's live show. Next, we'll start to do this nail design. First, we start to apply one layer of base coat. Every time, brush it evenly and slightly. And dip it into the French white color powder. Brush the extra powder off. Now we are going to apply another layer of base coat. Remember, do not apply too much base coat on the cuticle area. and dip it, dip it into the color powder again. Take it out. Now let's turn to this hand. Apply one layer of base coat. Dip it into the color powder and then apply another layer of base coat. And dip it again. In order to make the color look more solid. Now let's turn to the third finger. We'll just use the blue color to do the nail design. As you can see, our first dry deep powder and the deep glue are beginners friendly. It is very easy for beginners to use the powder and the deep glue. Every time we start from apply one layer of base coat and dip it into the color powder. Then we'll just repeat the same steps. Apply another layer of base coat and dip it again. And before you're doing the filing process, we don't need the activator to help it get dried. It can save you a lot of time at your home when you are doing your nails. Now we're 
doing the thumbnail design. Applying the base coat again. Brush it evenly and slightly. Do not touch the cuticle area. Otherwise, the powder will get clumpy or uneven on the nail surface. Every time brush it evenly. Now let's turn to this hand. We start from the third finger. Apply one layer of base coat. Dip it into the powder. And then we'll just uh, apply another layer of base coat. Dip it into the color powder again. Wait it for almost two seconds so that the color powder and the deep glue can get resolved with each other well. Now let's turn to the thumb. Dip it into the blue color powder. Take it out and use this brush to brush the extra powder off. And in order to make the color looks more solid and beautiful, we'll just uh, apply another layer of base coat and dip it into the color powder again. Take it out and brush the extra powder off. Remember, every time when you finish to use the color powder and the deep glue, keep the caps tight and well so that it won't sprinkle it out. And uh, since our base coat a super deep glue, it's better for you to keep the cap tight and well after you finished using it. Now, we are going to use this e-file to file the nail surface on these three fingers to remove the extra powder from the nail surface and make the nail surface look smooth. When you accidentally get the nail surface clumpy or uneven, you can use this e-file to get it become smooth again. OK, now we are using this file to shape the nail into the shape that you'd like to shape. And you can also find this file on our Amazon shop store. It is on our accessory color kit. It is on our accessory kit. You can just pay attention to the way how a nail tech hold the nail so that when you are shaping your nail, it won't hurt your nail and your skin. Okay, now we are going to use this nail buffer to file the nail surface once again.
as you can see, after these three filing processes, the color is still stick well on the nail surface. It won't fade out because we dip the nail into the color powder for twice. Okay, we only left two fingers to do the filing process. Next, uh, we are going to apply one layer of activator and uh, two layers of top coat. Then the nail design can be finished. Okay, we finished the filing process. We are using the brush to clean the hand to remove the extra powder from the nail surface. Now we are using this bond to clean the nail surface again. Okay, now we'll start to apply the layer of activator. The function of the activator is to help the top coat get dried and get it double shiny on the nail surface. Now we are going to apply the first layer of top coat. Brush the top coat of the nail surface. Brush it evenly and slightly. Now let's go back to the first finger. When you apply the top coat, there is one thing you have to remember. Wait it for the first layer of top coat, get it half dried but still sticky. Then you start to apply the second layer of top coat so that the nail will look double shiny. it fits well with the blue color powder and it looks gorgeous okay now let's turn to this song Okay, let's turn to this hand. When you apply the activator, do not apply too much on the nail surface. Otherwise, it will be so easy for you to get the cracking problem. 
just apply a thin layer of actuator. Now we are going to apply one layer of top coat. The timing is very important, so waited for the first layer of top coat, get it half dried. Then you start to apply the second layer of top coat. Only in this way can you get the double shiny effect. So just uh, control the timing. Now let's go back to this little finger. Next, we are going to put some little decorations on the nail surface. Okay, we only left this finger to be finished. Okay, we finished today's nail design. Thank you for your watching. See you next time.